hello friends welcome to java swing uh, tutorial so this will be the final video of java swing uh, tutorial and here we are going to see j table and how to say it column width in the quizzing we have uh, three columns product id name price and here the table is showing five rows here you will learn j table j scroll pan table column model and table column so all these four concepts uh, you will learn here so first we will create the column arrays uh, so this will specify our uh, columns so for example we will form column name 1 column name 2 column name 3 like that so it will be one dimensional array that uh, specifies the column name next we can create one more array instead of prod we can say table data so here we will create an array and it will be a two dimensional array so the dimension will match the first dimension since we specify three column first dimension will be three then rows you can insert n number of rows like that we can create the uh, data for the table here we are creating everything as a static and in the real world uh, this will be uh, data loaded from the table I mean the database table then you can use it to load the table here if you see for this example we will create a j table object and to the constructor we will pass these members first we will pass the table data then we will pass what are all the title for that so this will be the column and this will be the uh, two dimensional array and this will be the single dimension array that specifies the column name so if you want to change the column width then we have to make a call to jtable function get column model so this get column model will return table column model so we can use this object to customize the column okay this is the object we use table column model to retrieve the uh, specific uh, column in our case we will retrieve the uh, product uh, description then we will increase its uh, width so that's all here uh, so this is the center j table and we will construct it using the column array and uh, data after that we will retrieve the column model and we will increase the length now it's a demo time let's go to the demo okay here is our initial uh, uh, code we have main entry and simple j table in the main entry we are constructing the j frame and this is the j frame with the set bounds and layout all the stuff so if you want to know how to create j frame watch the very first video in this series here first we construct the column names array and our table is going to arrange data under three columns product id name and price so here we are creating a two-dimensional array so so this is product columns with the three uh, columns we can say this is the column heading for our j table and then we have uh, six rows of data and if you see this is a string two-dimensional string first dimension is here so this one specifies a row likewise we have seven rows here and if you see inside each row there are data for three column 
for example product id p01 product name product item 1 and price 15.30 likewise we have seven rows of data next we will create j table so here j table if you see first we are passing the product data this is our static array two dimensional array in real world you can create the array and populate it from the database so second one is the product column so that also we already have so in a real world application a table may contain n number of rows it may be hundred or thousand or even one lakh so we need to attach our table to a scroll pan we already used the scroll pan multiple times when we learned about the HTML pan and uh, JTEXT area, all the stuff. Even for JList also, we used a scroll pan. Now we are using the same technique to add scrolling support for the table. And if you see, we are creating the J scroll pan from Java X dot swing package. Then to the constructor, we are passing our table. So that's already created. After that, we are adding the scroll pan to our frame window. Now it is time to test it. Okay, now we will run this example. And so this is how our table will get displayed. You can see we have three columns, prod ID, name and price. And then all this data is presented here. And you can see a scroll bar also right now what happens if i resize this table so if i resize with twice that scroll bar is gone now let me so i resized it high twice and since all table data are displayed scroll bar is gone now since only four row is displayed there is a scroll bar here and if i resize it widthwise you can see all three columns get resized uniformly so here we can also resize the column individual column and you can see when i resize the individual column other two column other two columns get auto sized automatically so if you see here i resized only the prod id the remaining space is shared by both the columns let me run this once again so that's a column resizing if i resize the entire table all column get resized uniformly we can also shift the column say for example i am clicking the column title then i am moving it and i can rearrange the column now the column name is displayed first i mean the product name is displayed first then we are displaying the product id so to perform selection you can click here anywhere and if you see once i click a particular row i mean particular cell the entire row is selected and you can also see the focus row here the focus row is name na uh, second row in the name column or a uh, second cell on the name column third cell in the prod id column so what happens when we have the selection if i click the space bar i can start editing it uh, okay uh, actually you have to double click then you can start editing it so now i typed p07 and i'm hitting enter so with a double click you can edit it uh, you can do multiple selection also so for example p01 i am selecting when i'm holding the shift key then i'm clicking all the p07 so all three rows get selected
Now let me run this once again. So I can also use the here I am clicking this uh, second row. I haven't yet released my leftmost button and I'm dragging it and you can see this also selects the rows. All right, now let us resize the second column well, dynamically, I mean through programmatically. So here, if you see from our J table, we are making call to get column model that returns table column model. And from table column model, uh, we are retrieving a specific column. One in the sense, the column at index location one. This is zeroth location. This is index location one. That means we are retrieving the table column Java X dot swing dot table. So from that uh, package, we are uh, importing the table column. So here, since we specified the index as one, the table column represents the second column name. So now here, if you see, I am setting preferred size for this column. I mean the for the name column. So and I am setting the width as 300. That means all data cells also get resized to match with this header column size. Now, if I run it, by default, the name column will have bigger size compared to the other two. That's all here in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.